Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at an Oracle PLSQL interview question of writing a program to find whether a number or string is a palindrome number or string or not. So first of all, what is a palindrome number or a string? So whenever we say palindrome, we mean like if we read the number from the beginning or the end, if they match each other, then the number is or the string is called a palindrome such as see if I read one to one if I read one to one from the beginning it is one to one if I read it from the end it is again one to one so such numbers which read from either of side are same are palindromes okay but if I say like three to one now if I read it from the front it will be three to one if I read it from the back it would be like one two three so they don't match so they are not palindrome so many times we people are asked to write a program to find out whether a given string or number is a palindrome string or not. So to answer this question, the approach we will take is first of all we'll be having a given number, a given number or a string, right? So what we'll do is first of all we'll reverse that string or number using the substring, okay? And then we will compare whether both of them are same or not. Say suppose the input is Kishan, what I'll do is I'll read the string from the end first and I'll concatenate each and every character. So the first character I'll get will be N, then A, then H and so on. So I'll compare whether Kishan if read from the beginning or Kishan as read from the end, if they are same, we'll say that it is a palindrome number or string. If they don't match, we'll say they don't match, it's not a palindrome. So it will be a very simple program but you know people are asked to write this even today uh, so we'll start first I'll write a ser set server output on so that we can see the output okay and then we'll start first of all declare begin and end we require these three so first of all I need a variable to hold the input string say suppose PSTR right I'll take where care 230 I not be using bigger string than that and let me take an input of one to one okay pretty easy and now as I stated I'll be reversing it so I'll need a variable to store that reverse string also let me call it p reverse string and the same where care 230 and now we'll write the logic of first of all reversing and then comparing okay so how will we reverse a string so if the number is, is if we have an input uh, how can we reverse it see if we'll be using the substring function so I'll just show up briefly how it works say I have substring and I am taking a substring of say my name Kishan and I just want the fourth element out of it okay I'll write 4 comma 1 so whatever is at the fourth place, see K is the first, I is the second, S is the third and H is the fourth, right? So I get H as an output. So if you say 4 comma 1, it will give you the output of the fourth character. Okay. Now the substring works this way. So every time I can do something like I, if I want the N, I can go to the last character, say 6 and then do a 6 comma 1, I'll get an N. I can do 5 comma 1 I'll get the next A so I can build the reverse string that way okay I can just loop it out over there so I, I guess you guys are pretty clear with substring function if not you can leave in the comments I'll create a separate video for it okay so I'll just loop it out from the last element to the first so how can I get the last element uh, I can get the last placeholder like this is three characters okay then might be my next input is something else so I need to always get to the last character so what can I use to get the last character of every string uh, we have something called as length right so I'll use for for I in okay and now what I'll do is I loop from the first to the last last is nothing but length length of the string fine so I loop it out this way I don't want any abrupt ending of the loop so I don't really need an exit when 
but I don't want to loop it from one to last right one to last will be like first it will be the first character then second then third what I want is read the third character first okay so for doing that we have a keyword called as reverse when you write reverse it will start from this one okay and go till this one whenever you want to reverse the loop you have to write this keyword of reverse okay so I'll write loop and then inside the loop what I'll do is whatever character I get I'll store it into this reverse string variable but I'll also concatenate it with the existing whatever is in the string okay so if I already have an n I'll concatenate the next character say a to it that way so I'll concatenate that and what I'll do is I'll take a substring as we said we will be taking the substring of the that particular character every time so p string is our string we will be taking from a particular position that is nothing but this loops position so I will use this i and I will be taking that single character every time okay so this loop when we will say one to one what it will do is first of all it will take the last element okay and it will take a substring of uh, it is the length of substring right so it will take the substring of this one to one comma three comma one because we are doing in a reverse and this length of PSTR will give me three because this is a three character long string it will give me three comma one and I'll get one okay then it will take the next element then the loop will go and it will take the next element so now I'll concatenate the existing one with the new character that will be at the second position 2 comma 1 that will be 2 so this way the string will go on okay so this p reverse string will be generated here what I'll do is I'll take a dbms output of what has been generated put underscore line I'll print this reverse string just for our understanding okay and now let's just loop out this much and then we'll write the next code see the reverse string that I got is one to one okay you read it one to one from this way or that way it is one in the same just for test purpose I'll give Kishan and let's see how it gives as you can see it has made uh, some NAHSIK something like that okay so this uh, our looping is fine our looping works good so now we can write the palindrome condition it is very simple that is if our first string PSTR if it matches the reverse string then it's a palindrome we'll just put an output palindrome if they don't match that is the else part not a palindrome right so simple so this is done everything's look good I'll do a control F7 format the output let me just print it out it says the input kitchen okay it is not a palindrome fine if I give one to one execute it it will say one to one is a palindrome now our Indian language Malayalam M A L A Y A L M L A M Malayalam let's see how it is it is a palindrome Malayalam you read it from the beginning or the end it is one and the same so here it is a simple program to just find out uh, the whether a given string or number is palindrome or not just let's see like what if we are giving uh, instead of writing a PLS skill block if you want to write a function or a procedure we can just simply change it uh, last time we have seen how to create a function out of the PLS skill block in the previous question of you know reversing the function uh, reversing the number in this we will write a procedure we'll just do a create or replace so what happens is when you create a procedure or function it gets stored in your database it is pre-compiled it is faster in execution um, you have the code handy there's no need for you to write it down again so lots of benefits by using a procedure or function I'll just give a name of say p check palindrome okay and 
of course I need input if this can be an input p string it will be where cat 2 then I don't need to declare it again create replace procedure procedure name the input character is begin everything looks good let me compile it see it is compiled procedure is created now I can use this procedure okay I'll just write a code to use it declare begin I don't need really a declare block why do I need a declare I can just write a begin and an end what I'll do is I'll call this procedure so I can call the procedure even standalone even I don't need a begin and end over here I can just take the procedure name I can give the input and see if I give input of one to one when we are calling it without any PLSQL block we need to read either write execute or exec that is a short, short form given see it has executed the procedure and given us the output that p reverse string one to one and it's a palindrome okay if i give say plsql of course it's not a palindrome it says not a palindrome okay so this is it this is the function of uh, finding out whether number or string is palindrome or not i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you if you like this video please do give give the video a thumbs up and please do communicate in the comment section. This is Ishan signing off. Thank you.